A former question from application of trigonometry chapter. Let's look at it. Let's look at a former question and try to solve it. One Nalak Nakumar question and solve Madak Trimana ideally. Yen question no. Question Ali Keltare, there is an aircraft. Okay, there's an aircraft. What is it doing? It is flying parallel to the ground. And it has gone from point A to point B. So A in the B ge hogida plane. The angle of elevation of A from point A is 60. So this is point A elevation is 60. And after 10 seconds, after 10 seconds, it is observed that elevation at B is 30. So after, after 10 seconds, it reaches B and at that point, the elevation is 30 degrees. Okay. Now they are asking, find what height of aircraft is flying. Yava height alli aircraft fly aakta ide anta kelta idare. What is given? They have given that the velocity of the aircraft is 648 kilometers per hour. So let's look at what all they have said. So there is an aircraft which goes from A to B and it is flying at 648 kilometers per hour. When it was at A, the angle from O was 60 degrees. When it was at B, the angle was 30 degrees. What they have asked to find is the height. The height is to the On the aircraft, the plane is the A in the B. A in the B is the second. That is 648 km per hour speed. A is 60 degree elevation. B is 30 degree. Height is the height. Okay, so this question. So this question solve mara hege. How do we solve this question? Okay, first what we should do is we should try and find what is this distance AB. What is this distance? Because if we use if we know that distance, then we can try and calculate the height h. So note that because a a plane is flying parallel to the ground, AB will be same as CD. So AB will be same as CD. Okay. So now let's do the first thing. What is AB? We have to first find AB. How do we find AB? AB is given by velocity of the aircraft, S to speed of the aircraft, and the time taken to go from A to B. S to time to go to A to B. Okay. Velocity is 648 km per hour. Time is 10 seconds. It took 10 seconds to go from A to B. If you multiply that, you get 1800 meters. Hence, we know that AB is 1800 meters. AB is 1800 meters. CD will also be 1800. Yeah, okay, because they are parallel. Hence, now we can say that the distance between A and B is 1800 meters. Distance between A and B is 1800 meters. So, if that is known to be 1800 meters, let's see how we can find H. Either question, Kotaga, we have to exploit the fact that angles are given and we have to use tan theta. Tan theta calculation and use mod. And tan theta. We have to use tan 60 equals h by oc and we have to say tan 30 is given by pd by od. Okay, let us see how to do that. Let's start from the first thing. Tan aoc, so this is known to be 90 degrees. What is tan aoc? Tan aoc is ac by oc. Where is ac? ac is this e side. oc is so tan 60 is opposite side which is AC and uh, divided by adjacent side which is OC. So AC by OC. Okay, na? AC, you know, AC is H. Now, let height be H. Chanta. OC, hangi na. Tan 60 value, you know, if you remember, tan 60 value is root 3. So, namge itra barta. Root 3 equals H by OC. Anta. So, what is OC? 
root 3 equals h by OC adre OC n OC will be h by root 3 OC is H by root 3. So OC value got it. So this value we know. Now that is H by root 3. Okay. And this value we know it is H. Now let's try to f use the other angle 30 degree. Other news marna. Yen chikatan marna. Tan BOD. BOD have angle low. This BOD. So that angle is known to be 30 degree. Tan of that is BD, which is this side, and divided by adjacent side, which is OD. What is BOD? BOD is 30 degrees, and BD height is H, OD is kept as it is. So next to tan 30 is 1 by root 3. The definition tan 30 is 1 by root 3. And we have written h equals od. Even od in the left hand side of the okay, you will get that od equals h of root 3. Okay. So od h of root 3. What is od? Od, this whole thing, is composed of two parts OC, that part, and CD. Correct? Eh? OC plus CD equals H of root 3. And what is OC? OC now uh, calculate H of root 3 and CD we know it is 1800. In other words, we can write this equation which is H by root 3 plus 1800 meter equals H of root 3. So then simplify how do we calculate H using this equation. If I multiply everything by root 3, so if I take this equation and multiply by root 3, then we get this. You know, H of root 3 is 1800 becomes 1800 times root 3 and H root 3, so H root 3 multiplied by root 3 will become H root 3 into root 3 is 3 atava 3H. So, that's the In other words, other than simplify madre, h you have h eighteen hundred root three equals two h. Which if you divide eighteen hundred root three by two, you get nine hundred by root three. So h is nine hundred by root three. So root three original question use the value one point seven three and one point seven three use madin kelly are then answer birth fifteen hundred and fifty seven meters. Okay. So, either tan 30, tan 60, use maadi. Now, e application of trigonometry problem and solve maadi. So, li, non sali summarize maadi. First, two, we found out the value of AB. Why we want the value of AB? Because we need to use the fact of tan 30 and tan 60. Then, use maadi. Because, adi kena AB kandidli. A B CD which is 1800 meters and then we use the fact that A O C this angle happens to be a right angle and we found that O C was H by root 3 and then we use the fact that this angle is 30 degree and we found that O C plus C D is H times root 3 then simplifying we get H equals 1557 okay now in the video, there are problems in the video.